Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's your girl, Lacey. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I feel like people had wanted me to check the mic. I feel like people wanted me to expand on that energy of being breadcrumbs. So I'm seeing here, it's a lot of people here who they pretty much, they gave you crumbs hoping you would beg the loaf, beg for the loaf. There's some people here who wanted to be chased by you. They wanted to be pursued by you. If not just for an ego boost, some of these people could have, yep, see, we got the Empress in reverse. That's the first card coming, the Empress, the Emperor in reverse. Domination. They wanted, um domination over you and they try to do it in the wrong way you know they could have even did things like maybe offer you dates like okay i'm gonna take you out next weekend just so that you would try to ask them so hey when the weekend came around you would text them are we still going out next weekend or are we still going out tonight and whatnot and um and they would feel good, like, oh, so you, you do want to go out with me. Some people could have even hit you up for something like, hey, a strength card here, but you're too strong. A lot of you guys refuse to to give in to that. And um, this is what's leaving a lot of them broken. A lot of you guys would rather be alone than to deal with that type of energy. Yeah, death card here, transformation. Maybe at some point in time, some people in this pile may have given into it just because, you know, you were learning the balance between being outspoken and then also reading certain energies. So some of you guys might have been like, hey, I thought we were supposed to go out this weekend, Sean. <laughs> and then Sean just didn't reply. And then, you know, they kind of got off on that. I'm seeing a lot of people getting sick of that type of energy. Some of you guys might have even just walked away from this person, which we all should do. Leave people like that in that garbage, you know, um, 2024. But I'm saying here with energy, strength, bravery, a lot of people, they fell that trying to break you down here. Some of you guys could have even had family members trying to breadcrumb you, like they were waiting for you to need them so they could tell you no, and they could tell you, oh, I told you so. Why do you need me? What happened to that man you were hugged up on? You can't have, uh, you can't, um go to them for uh this for that for help for thanksgiving or for whatever you know you would have asked your family for um like what is that that's the extra lights from my floor glowing on my pole hero fearless inspired action some people here are really inspired by you, and some of these people don't have that inspiration when you're not around. That, or there could be people looking over your social media right now and the things you're saying and doing. It's like your energy, it speaks for itself. You vibrate such happiness and such, such, hmm, happiness and um, authenticity. Yeah, a lot of people are liking you right now. Prejudice, injustice, and equality. Some people are talking about the amount of strength you have when it comes to dealing with what you deal with. Whatever you dealt with in this world, there's something about like, you know, it's like you brush yourself off, you clean off those bandages. I'm getting some of you guys like, you know, I'm seeing that... Um, like that scene with um the Joker. How did I get these scars? Like, you know, and you're still laughing too. Like, you know, uh, prejudice, injustice, inequality, dishonesty, failure to take responsibility. 
you took responsibility for yourself, even though there's people who are not taking responsibility for coming forward and trying to screw with you just to try to screw with you. Arrow, fatherless, fearless, inspired action here. Some people here are also feeling ashamed that they try to gaslight, not just gaslight you, breadcrumb you, do all types of stuff to you because they are now seeing your strength and your intelligence. They're afraid that that's uh, you, the, the fact that something about your words, your verbalness, I said your verbalness, I'm so tired. I'm like, oh my goodness, what is the word? The way you articulate things, there you go, articulate, you mad articulable. <laughs> yeah. and they're like, you know, you could explain perfectly where they had you fucked up at. <laughs> That's a, uh, another thing these people are afraid of. They didn't think you were, um, what should we call it, that strong just because you stay quiet, you get things done. And I'm saying some of you guys might have learned to smile a lot and some people could have taken that for weakness. I'm saying like when you drop your smile though, you could be real intimidating and you just get tired of people asking, what's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? And like every five minutes, so you kind of learn to like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, you know, now you're learning to smile and still be a B-I-B-I. Romance, charming, graceful, invitation, following your heart, and dreams. Knight of Cups. Oh, right here. And it's like, you know, I'm looking at the similarities between the Knight of Cups and the death, um, the death card here. So something transforming. You can see how they're both, one is coming in holding a flag, and then another is coming in holding a cup. So you might have transformed being that you you stopped taking these breadcrumbs is transformed you into ex attracting real romance. Now it's like it's in your vibration. Every time you walk away from something, the universe is going to stop sending it to you. Every time you keep saying no, 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 and you're attracting like a Prince Charming coming in. Or maybe a few, because I'm, you know, I can't tell you yet. Maybe I could tap into your next spiritual lessons. This is what I'm here for. <laughs> Following your heart and dreams. Yeah, I'm saying you guys are going to be attracting somebody here, or you already attracted someone better. And um, vibrationally, people can feel this, uh, especially some lovers in your past. Some of you guys even had contracts with people who were supposed to be your soulmates here on this planet, but it's like they were wayward. Some of your soulmates were very good and they were like, they, they were covered in bitches, I'm not going to lie, and had people doing different stuff for them. <laughs> and then when you came in and you weren't, um, willing to compete with that that or they like i said they just got a problem of wanting you to chase wanting you to beg just for ego purposes or just for a chance to like turn you down and whatnot some people there you also got someone here in your energy field that doesn't want to be obsessed with you but they're mad because they are and they do see certain things that you post on social media and they be one, I don't know. They want to laugh at it. They like you. They think you're an endearing person. Hasty, impatient, impulsive, restless, unreliable, distracted, easily tricked, lacks direction, pessimistic. Some people here, we got the page of wands. They, they, you might have, hmm, they're trying to take guesses on your life, and some of them are negative guesses. But I'm saying here that even this person can't lie to themselves. They see you, <laughs> I don't know. Some of them could have even saw you with another person. I could just see them getting angry. Like, you know, like at what's going on with you. 
unreliable, distracted, easily, nah. Tricks or whatnot. I'm seeing a lot of you guys are taking your time. Some of you guys could be with a new lover and they could be talking about some, oh, well, that guy's just using her and or, use, or she's just using him, you know, and whatnot, but they don't really know what's going on here. That's the funny part. They just, you know, want to make a speculation. Some of you guys haven't even got far enough to get used. Yeah, some people here feel like they got blocked creativity. They're gloomy without you. Some people here are, um, this could even be family members too. They want back in. The, you know, I'm saying for some people here, if you stop talking to your family, holidays really aren't the same. Or maybe your birthday, some of you guys fall around the holidays and they could be thinking about you a lot because maybe they always blended it together. Oh, I apologize. Giving up, stubbornness, refusing, compromise, lack of trust, struggle, overwhelm. Some people, yeah, here, some people not... here might be perceiving you as being stubborn <laughs> and uh, not willing to give in to uh, their BS here. But I'm saying here for a lot of you guys, yeah, hmm, you're not necessarily being stubborn. What it is, is maybe they're being stubborn. They want to get their opinions across on some things that really isn't their business. That, or they wanted to tell you what to do with your life or how to live it, maybe even how to attract a man, but you didn't want to real, uh, learn how to attract the man. You want to learn how to attract your man. Overcoming addiction, emancipation, regaining control. Yes, yeah, some of you guys just are re because we got the devil card in here in reverse. A lot of you guys regained your control or your power. You're empowered now. And they don't know how to deal with this new empowered version of you because before when you were not empowered, that's when they felt like they had a right to, hmm tell you what to do or their opinions on your life and how you should and shouldn't live and what you should and shouldn't do. They might even try to use certain bargaining. Well, what is this person going to think? What is that person? Now that you don't care what anybody thinks, they can't use it against you, you know? So now they're like, there could be a group of people saying, you're so now they just want to attack your strength. Now, and because we got this stubborn card here so above, above, above the strength and between the, um, the justice in reverse here. So they want to try to start, have a starting point. And what they want to attack first is your self-love and your strength. First, they're going to tell you things like you're the narcissistic one for actually loving yourself and walking away and not sacrificing your life for anybody else's life. They want you to feel like you're narcissistic. And also down to um, refusing to be in unhealthy relationships. They might be like, you're stubborn and you're just not willing to compromise. They don't know the difference. Compromise is Okay, so you want a de you want a purple, uh, you want the living room purple, but you want the bedroom purple. I want the living room blue and the bedroom blue. So maybe we'll go for blue and purple. Or how about you decide what the bedroom is, and we decide what the uh, you know living room is together or we'll flip a coin you know type of thing that's compromise compromise is not I don't like you wearing your hair that way because it makes me feel some type of way so 
to compromise, will you shave your head for me? That's not a compromise. <laughs> Shaving your head to make someone else comfortable, not a compromise, you know? Well, I think and I feel, and then they're trying to have you compromise on things that might just be, you know, it's 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 not a compromise. It's inappropriate <laughs> to even be in your business. So they might yeah, arrogance, stagnation, delays, laziness, resistance to spiritual influence. Another thing here, some people here might not like your spirituality, unfortunately, especially if you're into like while well, you are in the tarot cards, some of you guys can be in the manifestation and whatnot. And they're like, oh, what's this new age stuff? They might try to, I believe in God. I don't know about that manifestation ish. You know, I'm just seeing somebody real arrogant with it when, you know, you don't have to explain that to them. If they want to go ahead and think how they think, they could think how they think. But a lot of people here, I feel like in this pile, they're not necessarily, it's it's up to you. If you feel like you got a strong backbone and a strong grit, but if you're still trying to build yourself and build your self-esteem, some of these people might not be worth going back to because I could see there's some people here already planning and fantasizing about how to tear you down. Like, you know, as soon as they get around you, they're going to start attacking you in some sort of way emotionally. They want to, they don't want to um, have a, a balanced relationship with you. They want to have a relationship with you where you're under their control and where you care what they think and feel, but they don't care what you think or feel. They want it to be unbalanced. They're, they don't have intentions of having a, a balanced relationship with you, unfortunately. And I'm saying some of these guys are getting, uh, are getting karma due to that. Compromise hair, cancel celebration, problem within the family, balance, lack of roots, insecurity, lack of faith, that or just realizing that you'll never be around to have those unbalanced relationships with them. They wanted to feel superior to you. They wanted their emotions to be more important than your emotions. And that's just crazy. And pull some angel numbers. Probably Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. That's two of hearts. Some of you guys are attracting love. Oh, the Joker. I didn't even know the Joker was back in that deck, but we'll take it. Oh, I'll put all the piles together. Joker. And we got a queen here. Yeah, I thought I separated all the numbers, but we got the two of hearts, so I'll take that. That's two, two, two. We'll triple it. I guess the Joker would be one. That's like 10. <laughs> so two, one, one. I, yeah, let's type it in. Why the heck not? Because we usually separate all the numbers so I can get the number card here. We got Queen of Diamonds, so we might as well do the full-on card of Mancy. Some of you guys are um, moving on for, from some Joker here. That, or unfortunately, because it goes by other things in the pile, you could have had some sort of Joker here that's after you because of your shine. The Queen of Diamonds here could be a person that has a lot that or you're about to get a lot of money and whatnot. You could have had a joker after you. And this could also represent some lightheartedness. It came out in reverse here and it got the owl on this joker card, if you notice that. So it could also be like the fool in reverse where you got a lot of wisdom when it comes to certain things. Maybe you got wisdom on how you dealt with jokers. So now you're moving on to true love. So maybe this person is not a joker. And we already know what two of hearts is. Two of hearts is a lot like the two of cups and the um what you would call it spread. So 
you know what? I think I'll leave it at that. Maybe I will look up what 222 means. Because I've been seeing that number a lot. I need to refresh. If you are seeing 222 often in, in any setting, it means the time has come for you to be more self-reflective and focused on duality of situations. Trust and patience. When we encounter the number 222, our angels are urging us to maintain trust and patience in the process of our desires. I was thinking about that as far as the duality and me even ending black and white thinking in a lot of situations where I wanted to see, I don't know, just balance, balance in certain situations. All right, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you got this far, like, comment, subscribe, help your girl grow. Thank you very much.